Hey guys, Lord here with a new Armored Core 6 video. Today's video is going to cover a mid-game build for chapters 2, 3, and even further along, which I've dubbed the Wasp. I'm calling it the Wasp since it's a build made to be annoying, quick, but still staying pretty hard. I do want to open by saying that this isn't going to be perfect for everything. Part of the fun of the Armored Core games is shaking up your build on a per level or per boss basis. However, with that being said, I've been able to run this build consistently for a while now, and usually just changing the weapons is good enough. Now speaking of weapons, let's go ahead and start there. Your right hand weapon can vary. I've run a mix of the starting assault rifle, the SMG, the energy weapons, and the Gatling gun. Personally, I think the Gatling gun is the best option. As long as you can keep an eye on the heat gauge, you can have a nearly non-stop wall of lead being thrown downrange at your enemy, allowing you to be the annoying wasp that we know you can. For your left hand, any type of bazooka grenade launcher will do. I personally love the huge impact of the Javelin Alpha, but the DFGR7 is just as good and weighs quite a bit less, as does the Majestic Bazooka. Now that's a really good early game option and it's even lighter than the other two, so if you're looking to save some weight, you could definitely swap the Javelin for the DFGR or the Majestic Bazooka. The main idea here is to use the bazooka when the enemy ACs are low on energy or when they're stuck in an animation in order to deal huge amounts of impact damage. These are great for building up the stagger meter, then allowing you to really shred with the Gatling gun and your shoulder weapons. Now, for the shoulder weapons, I tend to run the VVC 703 PM, which is the non-vertical plasma launcher. Now, these are great because they have proximity triggers that explode when coming close to your enemies, dealing damage over an area. If you're fighting a boss with a weak spot on top, I tend to switch to the VVC 70 VPM, which is the vertical version, however it's not proximity triggered. Both of these help deal with energy shields very well, as well as being difficult to dodge because of the area of effect of the explosions. Both also have multi-lock and are great for trash mob clearing as well. Another good shout is the 10 missile launching BML G2. Dual wielding these allows you to chuck 20 missiles downrange rather quickly, which builds up a ton of impact, so if you need to really stagger a boss, these are another nice option. Now the head and core unit are the Melander C3, which I believe are unlocked early if you pre-ordered the game, and they're just generally good parts. They don't excel at anything and they don't suck at anything, and they keep me within the energy and load limits that I need to be at. For the arms, I usually run the AC2000 tool arms, but occasionally I'll swap to the ELTA-10 for Meza if I need to drop a little bit of weight or gain some load limit. For the legs, I think the reverse joint is where it's at. The insane mobility and longer jumping and dodging really helps both with keeping distance from enemy ACs as well as closing the gaps during boss or AC fights. The RC-2000 Spring Chicken are a super strong mid-game option for reverse joint builds since they allow for a much higher load limit provide more armor points than other lighter weight reverse joints, and they have a pretty cool name. For the booster, I run the Alula 21E, as this is more specialized for initial thrust, giving you a more powerful quick boost at the cost of some vertical ability. All in all, this is my favorite mid-game thruster, and it plays nicely with the rapid dodge playstyle that we're going to be running with the Wasp. If you find you're fighting a boss where you need some additional verticality, the Flugel 21Z is also a good option. I ran this against the Sea Spider to help get above it during most of its second phase. For your FCS, I think the G2 P05 is the best that I've found so far. Since most of our weapons are built for mid-range, having maximum mid-range assist is really nice and is crucial to hitting as many shots as we can. It's also pretty average for close range and does have higher long range capabilities than some other options that excel in the close range. If you do run into a boss where you need to run a melee weapon, definitely look for something with higher close range capabilities than the G2P05 though. Now as far as generators go, you really want to just meet the energy requirements while maintaining a decent recharge and recovery rates. For the Wasp build, I recommend the DFGN06 Ming Tang. With just the right amount of energy, solid recharge, and very good supply recovery, this has been my personal favorite so far. For expansions, I really like the Pulse Armor, as it gives us a way better defensive performance while it's up, allowing us to mitigate a lot of damage. Now I double upgraded into it with OST chips, allowing me to use it twice per run, and since we don't have the most health, this really synergizes nicely and pays itself back in spades over a lot of the longer, spammier fights. The basic idea of this build is to be very rapid, dodging often while staying mostly grounded to keep our EN reserves as high as possible. The reverse jointed legs gives us huge immediate lift, allowing a lot of maneuverability to go over enemies that are charging us. The quick boost lets us create separation for more aggressive close range builds, 
but also to close the gap rapidly once we do build up that impact bar. The Gatling gun puts constant pressure on, and if they don't dodge it, it does really chip away over time. However, if they do waste energy dodging the Gatling gun, that really opens them up to bazooka shots which deal a huge amount of impact damage. Constantly firing salvos of your shoulder pulse rockets also helps deal a lot of damage and eat away at their energy. Having the pulse shield again is great since we don't have the highest health, obviously this allows us to eat up a few more shots, which can be the difference maker in many cases. So that's all I have for the wasp build guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you've been playing as, as I'm curious to hear how you guys have been armoring your cores. Be sure to subscribe for more armored core content just like this. And with all that being said guys, I thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.